All right. So sometimes when you're building meshes, you want to be able to refine a complicated shape uh, where sometimes the creating just a volumetric control is going to be more difficult. Now you can always use a 3D CAD modeler and create, and in this case, like an extrude that matches the shock waves. And so these are pretty simple. But oftentimes in very complicated uh, missile shapes or uh, areas where you need complicated refinement, it's going to be very difficult to construct a shape that would refine. So within Star Plus, you can also use table-based refinement. And so what we're going to look at today is how to refine based on a table. So what I've got here is just a wedge at a higher Mach number. So I'm developing compression shock, expansion, and compression. So we need to be able to refine on some sort of logical rule. Now, you can always use a position. You can use any scalar functions. In my case, I'm going to use pressure reconstruction. Now, pressure reconstruction can always be viewed by turning on temporary storage retained. And these are extra values that are not normally retained, but can be very useful for refining. Now, the caveat when you turn on temporary storage retained is you must run one iteration in order to capture these. So in my case, you see here, I've run one extra iteration after I have loaded. So that way I can see the pressure reconstruction. So let's look at how we can do this. So what I want to do is go in and create a field function that is going to define my reconstruction uh, reconstruction variable. So I'm going to right click and create new. And we'll call this uh, OO refine. And what I'm going to do is call the reconstruction gradient. Now, I can always go down and find something. So, for instance, pressure reconstruction magnitude. You can see the definition is here. So, in case you're ever unsure of what the value should be, you can just control C and copy these and use them in your user defined function. So, I'll say if pressure reconstruction magnitude is greater than 1 e to the fifth, what I'm going to do is say, if that's true, then return, let's say, 0 0.0025, so 2.5 millimeters. And if not, just return something very large. So effectively, it's going to be out here in the far field. And that's going to refine everything inside of the shape. So now that I've got my threshold, what I can do is create a table from that. So I'm going to right-click on table, a new XYZ internal table, and return on all the parts. So remember, you can do a specific part. So if you need this with a union of something else, you can always do like a threshold and then do just the uh, uh, threshold for the source parts. And that way you can limit exactly what you're going to refine. So in my case, I'm going to do it on the entire region. And I'm going to ask it to return my OO refining. Notice if I put 00, zero in front of it, it leaves it at the top of the list. Great, so now I'm going to have refine X, Y, and Z. Great, so now I've got my table. I'll go all the way back up to the top here and minimize field functions. And I'm going to go to the mesh model of the trimmer. And I'm going to turn on a mesh size table of the X, Y, Z internal table. So now I've got my refinement. So it's going to call this table to do the refinement. So let's go ahead and hit volume mesh now. Great. So now that the refinement is done, you can see here that I have all these shocks refined in this general direction here. Now, as you run this, you can run this on an iterative process. So start out with something larger, uh, for instance, on the surface size itself that it's doing, and then start dialing it in uh, a little bit deeper. So we could start out with, let's say, you know, uh, 10 millimeters and then start refining it a little bit more and refining it a little bit more. And you can always construct nested if statements. So if greater than certain value, you do a certain size. And then if greater than an even larger value, you do an even smaller size. So you can get very, very complicated with your uh, if statements here. So in short, that's how you create and refine uh, table-based refinement within Star Season Plus. Thanks.